Hi guys, welcome to Two Stroke Running and Repairs. Today we're going to be looking at the difference between chainsaw chaps and chainsaw pants. I said this video was coming, so here it is. I've got my John and Jono chainsaw chaps that I reviewed uh, probably a week or so ago. And then I've got my Husqvarna chainsaw pants, which I haven't done a review on yet. Um, and I'll just go over the pros and cons of both, what I like and dislike of chaps compared to pants, and go from there. So, first off, the difference is chaps, they're like an apron, and then they buckle around your legs. Um, you know, most of you guys know what chaps are, you know, cowboy chaps with their leather chaps. And then chainsaw pants, they're basically like your trousers you'd wear every day and the chainsaw protection is actually built into the front of the trouser. Um, so, some various situations where you might wear these. Chainsaw pants are really great if you're a logger and you're running the chainsaw all day long. Um, they allow, depending on which ones you get, they allow a lot of flexibility and they breathe really well if you buy the right ones. Um, chainsaw chaps are really good if you're not going to be running the chainsaw all day and say you might be only running it for 15 minutes, 20 minutes here, maybe later on in the day you run it for another 15, 20 minutes. Chainsaw chaps are so much easier for that because basically you can clip them on around your legs and your legs are covered, and then once you've done that 20 minutes of saw work, you can take them off and go back to what you're doing, come back later and chuck them on again. So, say you're a farmer, and you keep a saw with you in your tractor, and you come across a tree across the road, chaps would be ideal because you can get out of your tra tractor, snap the chaps on, grab the chainsaw and cut up the tree. And because of the convenience of chaps, you're actually more likely to wear them. If you're a farmer and say you have chainsaw pants and you come across a tree, you're more likely to say, nah, I don't need that, I can't be bothered changing pants and cut up the tree without them. So, chaps are a really good versatile option. Um, chainsaw pants are kind of a, you have to be in the industry of cutting a lot of firewood for them to be really convenient. Um, aside from that, um, some of the things I find chaps versus chainsaw pants. I find chaps for me, I'm a rather small person. Because most chaps are made as a one size fits all, they don't fit me very well. So if you're a smallish person, Unless you can find a set of small size chaps, most chaps are one size fits all. Chaps aren't really going to be very useful for you because, as you could have seen on my um, video, I'll put a link up here maybe. I'm not sure how to do that, but I'll try. I'll link it to the video. Um, they tend to not fit around small people right because we have the smaller waist. Um, chainsaw pants, because they're sized garments, and you have, you choose your waist size and your leg size, um, they're more likely to fit around the area they need to fit better if you're a smaller person. Um, these pants I find though, they are really convenient for me, um, but they don't breathe very well. I find I cook very, very much in these, overheat very easily, but for the comfort that they provide in terms of chainsaw protection, I don't mind that. These chaps, I find them good if I'm just going to be using the saw on a weekend camp for 10 or 15 minutes, but um, I find I always am thinking these chaps aren't doing their job properly because they're not sitting right, um, so I, my mind's more at ease in the chainsaw pants. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of a quick comparison of pants versus chaps. 
So these are the chaps. I'll just show you how convenient they are to put on. I've got them here, around my waist, clip it on, tighten it up, and then I just go down each leg and buckle it up. And as you can see now, my legs are protected, but I'll show you, because I'm rather small and the waist big, the actual edges of the waist come round to about there, and that means that the actual external seams of the chaps are around there, and that I find actually means that the chaps pull around to the outsides of my legs, and they're not really covering much of the inside up, kind of the inside half, almost sometimes close to the kneecap of my legs, so yes they do work, um, they also are really great for stopping you scratching your legs apart on barbed wire fences, so that's the chaps, now I'll show you the pants, so for this video I'll just be putting them over my normal pants, but usually I'll be wearing a set of um, like running skins or um, running shorts underneath these, not work pants, but as you can see, I have to take my shoes off and then have to step into them, pull them up, and then from there I have to button and zip them. And if you're someone like a farmer, and you're wearing your trousers already and you can't be bothered you have to take your boots off and it's muddy you don't want to take your boots off and then you pull them on over your trousers and over trousers it's a really uncomfortable fit but that's the chainsaw pants on me they fit around they fit the chainsaw protection on these comes right into the insides and the outsides and they just feel a whole lot better. Um, yeah.